quote from Neil deGrasse Tyson, We discovered a fast-moving object traveling at hyperbolic speed in the solar system, heading toward Earth. But then it suddenly began to slow down dramatically. Oumuamua is the first confirmed object from interstellar space to pass through our solar system. However, since its orbit around the Sun did not follow Newton's laws, something must have influenced its trajectory, and some speculate that it's an extraterrestrial spacecraft. If there are no actual aliens on board, it may have navigation systems that switch to autopilot when near a star. Sounds pretty crazy, doesn't it? But what evidence is there to support this exciting theory? Does the discovery of Oumuamua really mean that we have discovered a highly advanced alien civilization? Or is there another explanation for the mysterious behavior of this wondrous visitor? Stay tuned to find out what experts have discovered about the most mysterious astronomical object of recent years. It's October 19th, 2017, and the list of space discoveries is about to be expanded by an absolute milestone. With the help of the Pan-STARRS telescope in Hawaii, researchers have succeeded for the first time in history in identifying an object in the solar system that is clearly of interstellar origin. Named Oumuamua, which means leader or scout, the visitor's trajectory and high speed left no doubt that it originated from interstellar space, or in other words, far away from any stars. At the time of its discovery, however, the celestial body had already passed the sun and was on its way back into the vast expanses of space. But the crucial question was what exactly had entered our home system. And indeed, this question seemed to be quickly resolved at first. Initial investigations of its orbital characteristics indicated that we were simply dealing with an ordinary comet. Ultimately, however, this assumption was quickly cast into doubt. The object did not have a comet-like tail or characteristic coma. But this was by no means the only mystery that Oumuamua had in store for astronomers. First, however, the experts had to take a closer look at the trajectory of this strange object in order to discover its origin. It was clear that Oumuamua had entered the solar system almost perpendicular to the orbital planes of the planets. At the beginning of September, the object had passed the ecliptic plane, the apparent path that the sun follows in the sky. Against this backdrop, the experts were able to calculate that the interstellar visitor had come to us from the direction of the constellation Lyra, not far from the main star Vega. On September 9th, the object finally reached its observed maximum speed as it passed the apex of its orbit at a speed of over 87 kilometers per second and approached the sun at a distance of 37.6 million kilometers. A good month later, Oumuamua paid a visit to our blue home planet. The closest distance between the object and us was 24 million kilometers, which is about 60 times the distance between Earth and the Moon. But then it was time for our special guest to say goodbye. Oumuamua set course for the constellation Pegasus at a gradually decreasing speed and has been moving further and further away from our solar system ever since. But the bottom line is that the object also left us with some special parting gifts a series of perplexing astronomical puzzles that continue to fuel the wildest speculation to this day. A Flying Mystery Analysis of its trajectory showed that Oumuamua had done something that, strictly speaking, it shouldn't have been able to do. The deceleration that the object underwent on its flight around the sun was slightly less than would have been possible under the influence of gravity alone. In other words, Oumuamua mysteriously accelerated but how was that possible? Well, such behavior is not inexplicable in itself. After all, we are familiar with a process called outgassing, which can give celestial bodies an additional boost in speed. In this process, an object is heated up so much that various gases and dust are blown into space. But typically, this phenomenon is also linked to a significant change in rotational behavior, which simply could not be detected in the case of Oumuamua. In order to uncover the true origins of this mysterious object, it was examined by several modern telescopes. The unusually strong fluctuations in brightness that were recorded suggest that the object is shaped like an oversized cigar. However, these fluctuations in brightness could not be explained by the body's rotation speed, which ultimately means that Oumuamua is not rotating around one of its axes, but is literally tumbling through space. No less astonishing was the fact that no dust particles could be detected in the vicinity of the object. In view of this, 
Scientists assume that the flying mystery contains hardly any water and is probably mainly composed of rock or metal. However, the researchers cannot make any definite statements about its exact dimensions, as these depend on a number of parameters that have not yet been conclusively clarified. And depending on the values entered for reflectivity, density, internal tensile strength, and axis of rotation, different dimensions result. According to this, it's possible that Oumuamua is only 100 or even 800 meters long. But the real mystery is what exactly Oumuamua is. The initial comet soon became an asteroid before experts finally reclassified the object as a comet. But that is by no means the only theory. Some researchers, for example, pursued the idea that the body might consist of frozen hydrogen. But further investigations proved this assumption to be unlikely. The possibility that Oumuamua is a fragment of nitrogen ice from a Pluto-like planet is also being discussed among scientists. However, the most exciting and controversial explanation is based on the assumption that we are not dealing with a natural celestial body at all, but rather with the work of an advanced alien civilization. Is Oumuamua an extraterrestrial spacecraft? This spectacular hypothesis was fueled primarily by Avi Loeb, a theoretical physicist at Harvard University. Together with Shmuel Bialy, Loeb concluded that the recorded acceleration and the lack of dust formation are very consistent with the expected characteristics of an artificial solar sail. This would be just 0.3 to 0.9 millimeters thick and have a large surface area so that it was ultimately pushed off course by the radiation pressure of the sun. Surprisingly, the idea that our home world had come under the research radar of an alien species was not dismissed as nonsense by the rest of the scientific community. And so it came to pass that Oumuamua was analyzed by the radio telescope at the Green Bank Observatory in West Virginia to pick up possible signals of artificial origin. But there was nothing. But did that finally take the wind out of the alien sails? Well, that depends on who you ask. The more alternative camp argues that the creators of Oumuamua may have used means and methods that are completely unknown to us and which therefore cannot be detected by our earthly instruments. After all, the extraterrestrial people would have achieved something that we can only dream of at present. They would have made the dream of interstellar travel a reality. In this regard, some people point out that we should definitely revise our human self-image. In a cosmic context, the aliens would be something like experienced university professors, while humanity would be like a baby who has just learned to crawl. What humanity learned in March 2023 was that it is possible to explain the observed behavior of our interstellar visitor without resorting to far-fetched alien technologies. Daryl Seligman and Jennifer Bergner came to the conclusion that Oumuamua could have used a purely natural hydrogen propulsion system. Analysis of past test series showed that water ice breaks down into molecular hydrogen under the influence of intense cosmic radiation triggering a special form of outgassing that is invisible to our telescopes. And if the cigar-shaped object is only 100 meters long and 20 meters thick, the process could have generated enough thrust to trigger the observed acceleration. But at the end of the day, this is just theory. So why don't the experts simply send a space probe to Oumuamua to get to the bottom of its secrets on site? Well, that's primarily because it would be anything but easy for the spacecraft of our time. The hyperbolic excess velocity of the object is estimated at around 26.3 kilometers per second. By comparison, Voyager 1, the probe with the highest hyperbolic excess velocity currently, only reaches 16.6 kilometers per second. But does this mean that we will never be able to intercept and decipher the flying mystery? Well, not necessarily, but it will take some creativity and a lot of patience. For example, a space probe could fire a solid fuel engine after a flyby of Jupiter and thus practically catapult itself out of the solar system and toward Oumuamua. If we ever manage to pull off such a maneuver, the probe could reach the object within 17 years of launch. However, the experts' musings on the subject are still far from progressing beyond the stage of an exciting idea. When and whether we will get to the bottom of the mystery surrounding Oumuamua up close is therefore still literally written in the stars. But what is literally below our video is the subscribe button. Please click on the thumbs up and subscribe now to never miss another post from us. We'll see you soon.